Greetings everyone, my name is Altarion and welcome. Guys, I have for you another beautiful hidden gem. I found it guys. Just released in English. It's called Lay a Beauty to Rest. The Darkness Peach Blossom Spring. As you can see by the art itself, it should be beautifully drawn, should be wonderful. It's created by Zero Creation Games and it has a theme of a real life written story, fable actually, also called Peach Blossom, Sk uh, Peach Blossom Spring, written by a certain, let's see if I wrote that down from Wikipedia, Tao Yuanming. It's about a fisherman who found a utopia during time of turmoil and war and political conflict, and then he was... Then he had the decision, should I stay, should I leave? And I guess it's going to be a little bit the same. Maybe some romance, maybe some tragedy, maybe some conflict. We'll see. Let's give it a go. I'm very excited. I'm very into those beautiful story games. Let's go! At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I walked in the mountains. The mobile phone just ran out of power, and there was little water and food left. After walking for a long time, the scenery in my eyes is nothing but only forest. The mountains have various terrains, so I need to keep my balance while walking, otherwise it's easy to fall. I walked very hard all the way, but luckily I never encountered any wild animals. Um, yeah. That English is a little bit, uh, a little bit off, but it's okay. I am an explorer, and the reason why I venture into the mountains and forests is to explore the meaning of life. That's a why I would justify for myself, but in fact... I'm just a desperate man. Last month, I lost my love, my career. So, it never rains, it always pours. Now I want to find a utopia and stay alone. The mountains and forests here no one shows interest in are perfect for me. There is a timer in the pocket. There is a timer, there is a watch in my pocket. A watch, a timer, a stopwatch. I have a stopwatch in my pocket. The timer has set the countdown. The countdown lasts for 24 hours and it will ring when the countdown is over. Before entering the mountains, I had made a rule for myself. After the bell rings, I will need to start my return journey. Now that the timer has passed 8 hours, there are 16 hours left. Oh, wait a minute. Will I still be able to return back from the same way after 16 hours? Well, let me find... Find a way out right now! Uh... While I'm walking forward, suddenly, a strange smell comes. A strange smell from flower flies in the air. A strange smell from flowers lingers in the air and mixes with an earthy smell. Actually, I love... I, I, I love the uh, I love the uh, the art. It's like a moving wall, uh, wallpaper. I would like to have some uh, something else. Actually, I love that. That's beautiful. It's peaceful. The earthly smell reminds me that I'm actually near a water source. As usual, walking alongside the river, I could finally reach a populated place. It will get me out. I push aside those intersected leaves. Rushed out of the dense trees and finally stepped on soft soil. Sure enough, I found water. Bigger surprise. What a such fantasy land in front of me. Yeah, the English feels a little bit off. I wouldn't... It feels like it's been translated literally. I assume it will be... Um, pronounced or said in this way in Chinese, I assume. But, um, yeah. A shallow... A crystal clear stream appears, and a wood full of peach trees in, in blossom stays on the side. Let me just pump up the value, volume. I could meditate this for hours, guys. This is beautiful. The day that I can see such a river, that would be, that would be amazing. Pink peach flowers blossom everywhere in my eyes, falling from the tree tops, from the tree tops when the wind blows. Most of the fallen petals stopped on the muddy rock alongside riverbanks, and few drifted in the stream. 
They swirled along the stream and drifted towards an unknown source. Gosh, strange. The current seas in autumn should not. Oops! Back, back! Ah! Misclicked! Give me back! Back, back, back! No, no, no! Uh, there we go. I missed. The current season should not be the one for peach blossoms. With a little doubt, I walk towards the end of the stream. In the end, there is a hill. Which is not high, but just enough to block the sunset. I suddenly click too much. Okay. There we have a beautiful creek. Venturing to a cave. Guided by petals. Beautiful purple pink petals. There's a narrow hole in front of the hill, just enough for one person to pass through. Could be in the cave. This dark and deep cave makes me feel a little bit uneasy. However, driven by curiosity, I decide to go and see. Oh, sure, enter. Whew. Let's go inside and have a look. I took a deep breath and stepped into the cave. The cave is a little bit narrow and short. I lowered my head, turned my body sideways, and finally squeezed into the hole. It's too dark. The darkness blocks my view. So I put my hand on a wet stone wall and walk forward step by step. The land inside the cave is not too muddy or smooth, but it feels solid to step on. Beginning with one tentative step and being followed by another, I walked cautiously. I was afraid that if I suddenly missed a step, I would fall into a trap. It is said that, in order to prevent prey from invading, ancient people who lived in the caves would set traps at some entrances. I need to watch my feet at all times. At the same time, walking in such a dark place, I also need to worry about being attacked by snakes, insects, rats and ants. Oh, the possibilities. If misfortune happens, being bitten by a poisonous snake, I would probably have to confess here. And there, the light at the end of the tunnel. Huh? After about a hundred paces, I suddenly found a weak light in the distance ahead. Sure enough, this hole lead to somewhere. As I walked forward, the pace in the cave became wider. The space in the cave became wider, and I would gradually see the light source at the hole. It's coming from the hole. Suddenly a strange smell mixed with slightly peach blossom made me feel uncomfortable. Smell is mind-numbing. I quickened my pace. The space in the cave grew bigger, and the light ahead became brighter. Oh, the music. An orange light suddenly filled my vision. I rushed out of the cave and stepped on the solid ground. Outside, the wind of peach blossom fragrance came to my face. A world I had never seen before came into view. This is probably the utopia. Self-sufficient in all ways, beautiful, peaceful, left alone from all the conflicts in the world. Oh, I, I, I just love the, the animation from the side, coming, like the petals flowing over. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is amazing. The art? Love it. Let's see about the story. English could be a little bit improved. But it's, it's beautiful, I get, I, I get what it's all about. After walking out of the cave, I stood on the cliff. At this time, I was shocked by the beautiful scenery in front of me and was stunned for a long, long time. Well, guys, I would be stunned as well. I mean, for me, dep depending on what's going on in the village, it's like a creepy horror village where everybody keeps dying and murdered. I would probably leave as well, but if it's just you know, a peaceful village, away from all the world, you bet I'm going to stay there. I never imagined such an open world on the other side of the cave. I saw a village hidden in the mountains. This village is unlike any I've seen before. There are no poles, no cement houses, no colorful billboards, and no small supermarkets with sundries. There are only flat farmlands, staggered muddy stone paths, and simple plain houses. As the sun set, the village hidden in the mountain is quiet and peaceful. Yi Ming. That's probably us, we are Yiming, I assume. An aperture opened in the mountain. 
from which light seemed to be emitted. After several tens of steps, the way led to vast spaciousness. The land was level and expanded, houses were spread out in good order, goodly farms, fair ponds, and mulberry and bamboo thickened. thickets were taupe seen everywhere. I speak out a sentence that I almost forgot. There are the sentences from the Peach Blossom Spring that I recited in middle school. Over the years the knowledge learned has long been forgotten. But what I saw at this time awakened this dust-laden memory. No way! Can it be said that this is the legendary Peach Blossom Spring? <gasps> there is some voice acting! Oh, that's nice! Oh, but it's not English! I cannot, I cannot copy that face. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? No. Suddenly, there was a voice in my ear. I turned around and a young girl appeared in front of me. It seems like she's 16 or 17 years old. She's dressed in an ancient costume from the Qing, Qin, Qin or Han Dynasty. With long black hair pouring down her back and pure eyes looking at me curiously. What a beautiful girl. There are many types of beauty. Her beauty is pure and fresh, like peach blossom. Hello. 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 Uh, let me get the voice straight. <coughs> Hello. Hello. I came here from the... Oh, no, that's me. Oh, my God. I'm mixing up the voices. Teaming. Uh, hello. I, um... I came here from the outside. I pointed the cave behind me. Um, excuse me, but, uh... Where is this place? I asked the girl doubtfully. As a modern man, it makes me a little uneasy to come here suddenly. <laughs> the girl blushes slightly, seemed nervous, and didn't answer my question immediately. That was a very sensual moment, I must admit. She looked at me timorously, as if she were judging whether I could be trusted. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. I didn't understand a single thing. Luckily, there are subtitles. This is the Peach Blossom Spring, guests. Why are you here? After brief silence, she summoned the courage to speak to me. The word, this is the Peach Blossom Land, said by her, made me a little bit shocked. Originally, it was just a guess, but after a confirmation, it might really be the legendary Peach Blossom Spring. This land has been isolated for, from the outside world for many, many years. The people here follow ancient lifestyles induced by dresses and behavior of this girl in front of me. In the Lost Mountains, I unexpectedly found this legendary peach blossom land. Now she asked me why I came here. I should not be too honest with the people here, but I didn't figure out the details yet. Just make up the reason to answer her. Uh, I um, I lost my way in the in the deep mountains, as if I had been guided in the dark. So I came here unconsciously. This actually, I've never heard such a oh, beautiful. I love it. I see, I see. It seems that the guide Hui was guided has guided you here. I don't know if I should read. It feels it feels so it feels so weird if I should uh, voice act over it or not. Um, whoever comes is a guest. Let me take you to the village. I gave an ambiguous answer, but to my surprise, she immediately showed her confidence to my statement. She's too simple, trusting me like that. Besides, what is the god she's talking about? Uh, yes, please. Um, take me to the village. I decided not to think too much, only to follow her into the village first, so I could collect some information to find the answer. Oh, I suddenly remembered. I didn't know her, her name yet. Uh, excuse me, uh, young young lady. By the way, my name is Yi Ming. Would you mind telling me yours? My name is Xionghua. Xionghua? Oh, my name is Xionghua. She told me with a shy smile. Xionghua. I recited the name several times, Shanghua, Shanghua, and remembered it in my heart. 
My man is in love, guys. He just saw an eternal beauty and he is sold. He is staying in this village forever. <laughs> Sean Kwai and I walked down the mountain from the high slope where the cave was located to the village. The cave was located to the village. Along the way, I observed the environment of the Peach Blossom Spring as I walked and occasionally chatted with Sean Kwai. This is indeed very, very traditional. I like it, guys. Oh, that's a beautiful sunset. Peaceful. The village here is called Hue, 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 Hue Village, which is relied on, which is which is relied on the hill with an obvious ancient architecture style. The houses in the village are made of losses, lois, loose, 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 and coach grass, without traces of chemical processing, and are built with ancient technology. Guys, I don't know what loose is. Uh, let me quickly double check it. That's a new word. I mean, there are so many different words like loose. What is loose? Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's that's a type of stone. I get it now. Something learned, you see? Even beautiful stories like this give us a little bit of knowledge with them. At the time, it was dusk, and everywhere in the village was... And everywhere in the village was covered with warm light yellow. At this time, it was dusk, and the village was covered with a warm light of yellow. After walking to the village, I met the villagers of Huye village. The villagers are men and women, elders and kids, elders and children. They were doing their own thing originally, but when Shuang... Sh wow, I, I forgot the name. It's difficult if, if you're not used to pronouncing these things, it kind of gets stuck on my tongue. Sh... Sh... <laughs> Apologies. Shanghua. Shanghua. Took me to the... Took me into the village. They quickly turned their attention to me. The goddess returns. Who is that next to you? However, after a little thought, the behavior is understandable. Everyone wears the same ancient costumes and only I wear the modern costume. I'm- Oh! Get back! No! I'm an alien to them. When people in Hanfu appeared in the subway, others might not stop looking at them curiously. Ying me. When I looked at them, some would look away in fear, while others would nod and smile in a friendly way. Oh, there are also people from... There are also some people who are wary of me. <laughs> oh, this is going to be our love rifle. I can see it. I can feel it. You know, see how beefy that guy is? That's a badass hunter. Oh yeah, he even got his um, biceps uh, string to preventing it from ripping. Yeah, some teeth. Necklace, probably killed a wolf or two. This is the pretty boy of the village. That's all. Stout young man came up. He stared at me with caution. Hello. Um, I'm from the outside. Huh. Outsider. Why are you here? Yeah, I love his voice. The young man in front of me was not friendly. I watched the message that came out of him. Um, his skin is darker than that of the other villagers, providing that he's been working outside for a long time. His fingers are rough and callous. Calloused, providing, proving that his hand often grabs some kind of tool. His feet are wrapped in fabric mixed with grass, clippings and scratches, proving that he often walks in the mountains. It seems that he is a young and experienced hunter. Danyo, Danyo, my man, Danyo. My m Danyo, he's not a bad guy. Shuan Kua spoke to me. Danyo. Hola, Danyo. Danyo, whoever comes is a guest. It would be impolite to join him without consideration. An old man, leaning on crutches, walking up to the young man named Danyo. I looked at the old man and received friendly smile giving from him. Both Shuanghua and the old man so said so. Well, both Shuanghua and the old man said so, leading Danyo with it, some of his hostility. 
Um, ex excuse me. Um, who are you? I asked politely. Ah, uh, 我是这里的村长。旁边这个不太懂事的孩子叫大牛，是村里的猎人。方才啊，有些失礼了，请问客人怎么称呼啊？ I must admit, it's beautiful language, beautiful language. It's just music to my ears. I'm Cheng Zhang, the village head. The boy next to me is Dan Yu. He's the hunter in the village. I was a little rude just now.、Uh, how would I call you, my distinguished guest?、Uh, my name is、uh, Yi Ming, and I'm guided by the god Hui. I always feel that I can find something here. 原来如此。如果想要找什么的话，你可以在此住上几日。啊 ，I see. If you want to find something, you can stay here for a few days. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how do how do I pronounce that? Ku Sang, Ku Sang, Ku Sang. Oh, not only Shua Hong, Shua Hua. Not only Shuanghua, but after Kung Zhang listened to my side of the story, he also wanted to keep me to stay unexpectedly. Apologies if my reading goes a little bit wrong, but in my head the English is written differently, so we kind of need to.、Um, it contradicts what I what I have in mind. People here are very simple and hos hospitable. <laughs> if I were a bad person, I would be very dangerous to let me go in a village so simply, right? Dan Yu. Ah,、uh, the hunter named Dan Yu is an exception. He might assume that I'm a bad guy. You 初来乍到，我们本应带你在村里逛逛，了解下村子。You are new here. We were supposed to show you around the village to know about it. 不过啊，时间不巧，马上便入夜了。入夜前，村民们会设酒杀鸡作食，摆黄昏之宴。Mm, however, however, unfortunately, it will be night very soon. Before night, the villagers will set up a feast of wine and chicken. I wonder if you are interested in attending, guys. That's an amazing. Imagine coming to the city, and they just say, "Hey, we're gonna have a party. Mind joining us? We got wine, we got chicken." Ah,、uh, um, I mean that's hard to refuse. That's that's the trouble for me. Um. Will you come along? I looked at the Shuanghua. 过几天就是桃花节了，我要去排练祭祀舞蹈。Wow, she said it so short. There was much more text than she said. The Peach Blossom Festival is coming in a few days. I'm going to rehearse the sacrificial dance. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. 明日我可以带你了解一下村庄。Well, I can show you the village tomorrow. It's good. I can follow Shuanghua around the village tomorrow. Oh, that's how we are dressed. We are we are just from the city. Now he looks like he's straight out of office. I like his I like his suit. Yeah, a black T-shirt and a suit. Nice style. I like it. At dusk, I had dinner with the villagers, and the、uh, at the Shungzang home at the Shungzang home. According to the according to Shungzang in the village. It's very common to visit each other for dinner. Every evening, many families will hold grand feasts and invite other villagers to eat. That's actually a beautiful way of living. God, this is this is really a utopia. Just everybody's friendly, everybody's chill, everybody's enjoying life. One more toast. Come and drink. Hey, you should try this dish cooked by me. It's delicious. Oh, she's so cute! Oh, she's so cute! I wanted to eat this. I want that piece of mutton. Will you help me with it? <laughs> oh my God! I cannot even do that. <sighs> the feast held by Shung Zhang House is very rich with all kind of meat. The taste was okay for me, but it was a little light without any sauce. Because I was a valuable visitor from the outside, I soon became the core of the feast. The hospitality of the villagers made me put down my guard. I started drinking with them. Well, got you back. Ah, come on, cheers, mate. Ah,、uh, good. Ah, I drank a glass of wine. 
And this wine is very special and sweet. Which should be the kind of rice wine brewed in the countryside. Jimmy La. Uh, Ying Me, which generation of emperor of King Di Qin Dynasty is outside right now? Uh, Shi Huangji, Shi Huangji, Shi Huangji died many years ago. Since then, there have been many di uh, dynastic changes. Uh, many years ago? Uh, how many years? Um, more than 2,000 years. The world is well a little surprised, as they heard that more than 2,000 years has passed since they left. They began to discuss in a low voice. Uh, okay, young man. Uh, what is the outside world uh, looks like today? How is it different from here? Oh, there are many things in the outside world that are not available here, such as automobiles, television, mobile phones, movies. Oh, whoops. Uh, automobiles, televisions, what are these? An automobile can take people to many places. It's just a car. It's just like a cow or a horse. But it's lifeless. Uh, that's so strange. How can you move without life? Uh, it's complicated to explain. I find it difficult to explain the outside world to villagers. Whether it is technology or history, which could not be explained in short. While I was telling them, I was constantly observing their reaction. Their expectant reaction was not quite staged. At the same time, their statements did not reveal any doubts. Could it be that they have been living here in isolation for more than 2,000 years? Um, there's one more thing. It is reasonably to say that after so long, language has evolved continuously to various ways. Why can't we still communicate without obstacles? Ah, uh, 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 it's probably the village that all right all right Yi Ming will live in a village for a while if you guys want to ask there will be plenty of opportunities he looked out of the window when we finished the words unconsciously the sky outside the windows is a little dark yeah. Yeah. it's call it a day it's almost nightfall Chung Zhang put down his chopsticks, so did the rest of the villagers. Before I left, Chung Zhang stopped me with a slightly serious expression. Ji Ming ah! Ji Ming? Ji Ming ah, you just came here. There is one thing I should remind you of. Ji Ming! Ji Ming! Oh my dear Ji Ming, you are new here. And there is one... Thing I must remind you of. Uh, what is it? Uh, there's a rule in the village that you must lock the door at night. Never go out. At night. There will be mountain ghosts. Oh my. After the evening feast, Chu Zhang took me to the hut they arranged for me. The hut is inconspicuous in a small corner on the north side of the village. The layout of the room is simple. A short bed, a wooden basin, a stone pot, and a wooden frame for hanging clothes. By the way, in addition to this ordinary furnishing, there is also a small stone statue in the house. That's probably this thing. This is a very strange statue, and it looks like a god in human form. The lower part is wrapped in leaves of peach blossom. Is this Buddha? Or Nua? Before the Han Dynasty, Buddhism was not introduced into China. 
So it's not possible that the statue is Buddhist deity. And, you know, this is probably a god they call God Hue. I put down the statue in my hand. At the same time, my eyes unconsciously glance out the window. I wanna go out for a walk. However, Chu Zhang warned me that there will be mountain ghosts at night. As a newly arrived guest, I didn't want to be disliked for not obeying these rules. Tonight is better to stay inside. Let's take a break. With my hands behind my head as a pillow, and lay leisure on the bed, thinking about something. I couldn't fall asleep, so I go out for a walk. This may be my favor. This may be a favorable turn for me. Recalling my early years, it can be said life is hard. Three years ago, I dropped out of college in high spirits. I wanted to support myself by writing. I wrote manuscripts for two years and then submitted to various publishers and platforms. Nevertheless, no editor has taken a fancy to my works. While my career was frustrating, my girlfriend, who had a relationship with me for many years, also broke up with me. At that time, she invited me to the restaurant where we had our first date. She accepted my gift perfunctorily, with a frosty face and no words. I asked her what was wrong and she said that she wanted to break up. She felt that I had never shown my heart to her, never shown my heart to her, nor would I be by her side at any crucial moments. More importantly, she can't see any future with me. <sighs> well, I'm a real loser. No wonder why I want to go deep into the mountains. Perhaps, when I first entered the mountains, beside the purpose of finding myself, I also had an idea of ending my life. But, it's a little weird. Why can't I remember how my ex looked like? How my memories became strangely unreal. What does she... What does she look like? I muttered to myself, recalling her appearance, and took the time, and took the timer out of my pocket. The remaining time of the timer shows 15 hours and 30 minutes. Huh? Not quite, is it? Before entering the Peach Blossom Spring, I glanced at the timer, which showed that the remaining time was 16 hours. Now I feel that more than 5 hours have passed, but the timer has only passed 30 minutes. Is it broken? There are a lot of things to think about. Chung Zhang warned me not to go outside in the night, but I really don't want to sleep like this. Next, what to do? Guys, this is an important moment, because from here on starts the story. It's a tree-like uh, story, so depending what choice we do, we split off and we get thousands of multiple endings. I... Do we want to go outside on the first night? You know, first night, we've had a long walk. We're tired. Let's just go to sleep. Let's not immediately go outside. No, just a day of chill. Just the first day. My first day. I might not... I, <laughs> I might not break the, rule here, the rules here. I would think nothing. Just empty my mind and hopefully fall asleep. Laying fly on the lay, laying flat laying flat on the bed, I imagined myself lying in a boundless grassland, relaxing my whole body from fingers. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. I silently recite the words related to hypnotism in my mind. Although I don't remember where I heard these words, I don't want to think too much about them. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Well there, my friends. We will take a break here. This was a wonderful first episode. I like the story so far. It's amazing. I love the art. It's 
I feel the tension, you know. I feel the I feel the mystery behind it, you know. Entering a city that's where apparently the time goes by faster, you know. Um, yeah, I mean the time goes by uh, or slower because what is it? It was only the timer only moved. Yeah, the time goes by faster. I assume that's strange. Anyways, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will leave a link for this uh, game down below. Uh, the Steam link. You can check it out yourself. It has multiple endings. But please come back for the next episode. Because there will definitely be one. I want to see the ending to this beautiful story. And um, thank you much for watching. We'll see you next episode. Have a good day everyone.